Well, hello. Good morning or good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is when you're watching today's video. It is definitely morning for me. In fact, it is 8.8. 8. Oh, no, it is not 8. It is 4.55 a.m. And I am on my way to boot camp per usual. It is Monday that I film these videos. So Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are my boot camp days. So I made my protein coffee this morning. I drank about half of it as usual before I headed out to boot camp. I'll finish that up when I get home while I'm getting ready. That's pretty much my routine. And then I go and make my breakfast for the morning. So buckle up for a busy, busy day today. So I'm ready for the day and I'm hungry. I'm going to make some breakfast. It's about 7.30. I have been having this for breakfast lately because it's packed with protein and it actually keeps me really full. So what I've been doing is just two eggs. You can do them scrambled over easy. I generally just scramble them up in the pan. And then I've been topping them with just some shredded cheese. This is just full fat aged cheddar blend. I literally put a couple tablespoons on top of my eggs, let it melt. So I have this cheesy scrambled eggs and then plums have been my go-to lately. These are so good. They're so juicy and sweet. So I've been cutting up a plum and pairing that on the side with my eggs. In London, drunk at night, in the lip picking fights, I think we have done it all. She knows me in and out, love of a different kind. Here's my breakfast. Like I said, I've been having this a lot. I really like it, especially post-workout. The eggs and the cheese give me a good amount of protein with some healthy fat. And then I have a good source of carbohydrate in the plum because fruit has fiber. So it's very different than eating a Snickers bar. So fruit is definitely one of the best foods you can eat for weight loss. So this is going to be my breakfast. Oh, side note, these little plates. I've shared them before. I actually bought them on Amazon and I love them. The quality is really good. And they come in a pack of six with different neutral colors. So I'll link them down below for you if you're interested, but this is this morning's breakfast. I'm not quite ready for a morning snack, but I wanted a little bit of a morning pick me up. And that is this little beauty right here using mud water. I want to thank mud water for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You guys, mud water has been a complete game changer in my household. Mud water is a coffee alternative. All the benefits of coffee without all the negatives of coffee. If you didn't know, my husband Troy does not like coffee. He loves the smell of it, cannot stand the taste of it. He loves mud water more than I love mud water. You know that I am a big coffee connoisseur. I always have a protein coffee in the morning and I typically buy a second coffee or have a second coffee during the day. Ever since receiving mud water, I have transitioned over to having that as my pick me up either in the morning or the afternoon because not only does it taste incredible, but the health benefits of mud water cannot be beat. Mud water is incredible. It's a coffee alternative consisting of 100% organic cacao and functional mushrooms, which is a fraction of the caffeine found in coffee. You get energy, focus, and immune support without jitters, crash, or poor sleep. Really, it's what's on the inside that counts. Mud water is organic, non-GMO, has USA grown mushrooms, is vegan. It actually comes in four different blends. So we have the cacao blend, which is the one that I purchased. This is the starter kit for morning. It has 35 milligrams of caffeine per serving. Then there's the matcha starter pack, which has 55 milligrams of caffeine. So a little bit more than the cacao pack. And if you love matcha, you would love the matcha starter kit. There's the turmeric, which has zero milligrams of caffeine. And then for sleep, they have the Rubio's evening blend. I love the starter kit because you get everything you need to get started. You get a 30 serving tin of whatever product you choose. Again, I have the cacao blend. You get a USB rechargeable frother. I love that a frother is included. A guidebook with recipes and healthy habit information. And a few other surprises, different samples of their products. So for me, again, I purchased the cacao starter kit. So I have a sample of the matcha, the turmeric, and the rubios, which I appreciate because it allows me a chance to try out the other products to see what other ones that I would like to pick up. And Mudwater 
always offers free shipping. So the cacao, again, is the morning ritual starter kit. Each serving of the cacao mud water only has 20 calories. There is one gram of fiber and again the 35 milligrams of caffeine. It's 100% organic, low caffeine, no sugar, and over two grams of adaptogens per serving. It is also kosher, vegan, and Whole30 approved. So what's inside the cacao blend is masala chai, cacao, lion's mane, chaga, reishi, cordyceps, turmeric, cinnamon, and some sea salt. It's earthy, a little chocolatey, and slightly spicy, kind of like chai and hot chocolate had a baby. It is the perfect combination. The lion's mane is fantastic for focus. The chaga and the reishi help support a healthy immune system. Cordyceps to promote natural energy, turmeric and cinnamon for their antioxidants, and cacao for mood and energy as well. I love that there is zero added sugar and no sweeteners. I mean, the ingredient list is a 10 out of 10. Nice, clean ingredients. There is 562 milligrams of each mushroom per serving. That's incredible. Really easy to make. You actually take a tablespoon of mud water and drop it into your favorite mug. Add in some hot water and then go wild and add some honey, CBD if you would like, coconut MCT creamer, or keep it OG and drink it straight up. All you have to do next is mix it up using the frother that comes in the starter packet. Shout out to the frother that comes in the starter pack. This is the best handheld frother I've ever, ever used. I love that it's USB chargeable and it is so fast to froth and mix everything. I will be using this for everything that requires a handheld frother. I have been making my mud water hot. I've been making my mud water iced. You guys, I can't rave about it enough. And mud water so kindly offered such an amazing deal for you guys. You're gonna be blown away at the discount mud water offered. I'm going to go ahead and put all of the information here on the screen for you. Literally the price of the starter kit, I would pay for the frother. It's that good. Get 30 servings in the container. So if you had it every day, it's going to last you 30 days. That is about a fifth of the price even a sixth of the price of purchasing coffee. And again, you're getting all of the healthy benefits without all of the crash. So I highly recommend it. If you love chai, if you love hot cocoa, if you want something that's going to give you health benefits and a little bit of pick me up without all the caffeine, I can't recommend mud water enough. It has become a staple in this house. And unfortunately the 30 serving container is probably going to last us just a couple of weeks because both Troy and I have been loving it. So I will link Mudwater down below for you with all of the amazing discount information. And again, thank you so much to Mudwater for sending this over and sponsoring this portion of today's video. You have changed my life. Get him, Lola. Get Palmer. Get him. Ah! Yeah, get him, Lola. Get him. Palmer, you're so mean to your sister. Lola, you wanna get Palmer? Or, oh, I know what you guys want. You want special bomb? <gasps> special bomb? That definitely got their attention. These are our special bones, the smart bones. Right now we have the made with real chicken ones. I usually will pick up any of the kinds of smart bones. They love them. Good girls. Oh, good sit, buddy. Good sit. So I actually shared this blow dryer with you guys. It was around Christmas time. This is from the brand Tenski, and you can actually buy this right off of Amazon. This is an Ionic high speed blow dryer. This is what I used this morning to dry my hair before I went in with my straightener. It does also come with a diffuser. And I wanted to share it quickly again because it's currently on a killer deal on Amazon. It is on sale for $59.69, usually around $100. There's a 37% off promotion code that you can use that actually ends on August 20th. So it's a pretty quick turnaround for the promotion code. There are so many things I really like about this blow dryer. First of all, I love that there's a mirror. That's an interesting feature that most blow dryers don't have. It's very small, it's light, it's compact. The 10 ski blow dryer actually generates about 200 million, million negative ions. So it prevents unwanted flyaways, dries your hair quickly, and includes controlled styling to help increase smoothness by about 75% and shine by about 132%. Also helps decrease frizz and flyaways up to 61%. You, I can dry my hair in about three to five minutes, which is about two times faster than traditional hair dryers. 
and it's the perfect size for travel. Whenever I travel, this is always the dryer I take with me because it's so small and compact, and I love that it does include the diffuser. This is something I use every time. It just, again, helps with the flyaways, helps with the frizz. I'll link it down below. It is, again, purchased right off of Amazon, but be mindful that the discount is only good through August 20th, so just a few more days. So if you are wanting a new blow dryer with diffuser included, highly recommend the 10 ski. All the information off of Amazon will be linked down below for you. Morning snack time. I have a little bit of editing to do. So I'm going to, the dogs are playing, a simple morning snack. So I have one of the Organic Valley string cheese. You guys, this is my all time favorite. I buy these at Costco, super affordable. I don't know what the difference is about this versus like the Frigo, but this one is so much better in my opinion. <laughs> and then I'm going to have a serving of Etzel's pretzels. I shared these a long time ago in a grocery haul. I got these at Sprouts. Smoky the Gouda is the flavor. They're really, really good. Here is a serving. So I'm going to have pretzels and a cheese stick. So it is actually a nice day today. So far, it's still the morning. By the afternoon, I know we'll be well over 100 degrees, but right now it's a little overcast, a little bit breezy. I am actually expecting a few packages today, so I thought that we could unbox them together. And this one actually came yesterday, Sunday. I'm filming this video on Monday, and I saved it because I thought we could unbox it together. I unbox this with you guys every single month. This is my FabFitFun Fall 2023 box. I do pay for FabFitFun myself every single year year I do have an annual membership which means that I pay for the entire year up front and that allows me to curate my entire box which is super super fun so I actually picked everything in my fall box and you guys there was some really really good choices for fall so here is a little sneak peek and we have a little French Bulldog Yes, we do. We can never have a moment of peace. Okay, so first thing that I chose is the Lodge Candle. Now, I love candles. Whenever I can get candles in a box, I always usually pick them up. And this one's actually from the Free People brand. So pretty pricey. This is the Palo Santo and Patchouli. Now, Troy does not like patchouli, so I don't know how much he's going to like this candle, but if he doesn't like it, I'll go ahead and burn it in my office. It's really pretty. It's an amber glass and look at the top. It's so beautiful. Ooh, I like the smell. It reminds me of a crisp fall day with a little bit of masculinity. It is the 1809 Lodge scent. Ooh, I really like that. I don't get overwhelming patchouli, so it may not be too bad for Troy. Perfect timing for fall. We got a sample of caramel flavored Ricola throat balm. And then I talk about Glow Recipe a lot on my beauty channel. Oh no, Palmer just brought his baby out here because I love Glow Recipe anything. And this was a choice item. This is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So I picked this because I use Glow Recipe every single day. So I knew that I would definitely use that. Ooh, I'm excited for that too. Do you need me to throw it? He brought this little guy out. Do you want to get it? Go get it. And then I thought for a little self-care, for a little self-love this fall, I chose these. These are from Lujo Bar and they're four eucalyptus scented shower steamers. I'm not a bath taker, I'm a shower taker, but I love a good shower steamer. You just pop it in the bottom of your shower and when the water runs over it, it kind of melts and the scent comes out. So I was excited for these. I don't wanna open it because I don't know. Actually, oh, it's a resealable pouch. So let me open it. I'm not sure if these are individual, individually wrapped. I smell eucalyptus. Oh my goodness. That just clears out the nostrils. They are not individually wrapped. However, they are, like I said, in a resealable bag. I can still smell that eucalyptus in my nostrils, but I'm excited for that. Get your ball, go get it, get your baby. And then another makeup item I chose is from KVD. This is the tattoo liner. I use liquid liner every day and I do actually really like the KVD one. I am someone who buys drugstore liquid liner because honestly, most of them perform pretty much the same, but I do really like this. And since it was an option in a subscription box and I didn't have to pay full price, I grabbed it and it is in the th shade Thunder Black. And now this, this I immediately said choice because this is a product I will use a lot. Hold, please. Oh, Lola's out here too. You just can't see her. Do you want to come up here? 
Here, hang on, Nuggie. Just a minute. Let me move the box. Okay, come on up. Up here. Lola, come on. Anyways, back to the unboxing. This is from the brand Short Saint Short Stories. And you guys, this is a travel blanket. No, 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 wait a minute, please. I always wear a sweatshirt on the airplane. Sometimes I'm cold, sometimes I'm hot. And I thought, what the per this is the perfect choice item for me with all of my travel coming up. It comes in a little drawstring bag, which I appreciate. It keeps it nice and compact. You could throw it in your carry-on, throw it in your suitcase. And then it is a really, really, really soft blanket. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. It's definitely on the thinner side, but again, perfect, perfect for travel. I was also thinking that I could use this behind my neck if I wanted to as well, because I don't have a neck Hello. So I thought this would actually serve a dual purpose and would be something I would definitely get a lot of use out of. And then lastly in my box, I didn't do any add-ons this time. I did pick this. This is the woven throw blanket from Little Core Boost by April Nemeth. Now this is beautiful. It is all fall. We actually just bought an orange comforter when we bought our adjustable bed. And I thought that this blanket would look really nice on our bed or even on our couch. Ooh, this is so nice. Ooh, I love it. I love the color of it, the pattern of it. It is definitely a woven, hang on Palmer, a woven blanket. And it does have some little tassels. This is so pretty. I bet you this blanket is pretty pricey if you were to buy it on its own. So I knew that I wanted to get a blanket. And if I remember right, there was a couple color choices and I went with this more brown. And I love it. So that is what I got in my fall FabFitFun box. Again, everything I got to choose. If you're an annual member, you get to pick everything. So I will get on to FabFitFun and put a link down below for you if you want to subscribe. Also, with the holidays coming up, it would make a really good gift. I wish someone would gift me the annual subscription because I really do love it and it's definitely worth the money. I want to say it's $60 every time a new box comes out, which is four times every year. So I just got in the kitchen to make my lunch and this is my tripod, the only tripod pod that I have and it just broke. You can see that the just everything got really worn out. So I actually went on to Amazon and reordered this exact same tripod and I've had this one since 2019. So this is a real behind the scenes of a YouTuber. There's a lot of money that goes into this. So a new tripod is on its way to me. Luckily I can still use it. It's not very sturdy, but I can still use it. So I'm going to make some lunch here. I need to head out the door in about an hour to run some errands. So I'm gonna have some lunch before I go. I'm going to make a mock KFC bowl. And so what I have here is some mashed potatoes. These are just the Idahoan instant mashed potatoes. I have some of the white breast meat shredded chicken from Sprouts. This is zero points, it's only white meat. And then for a veggie, the only can I had in my pantry was carrots. So. We're gonna put carrots on there. Uh, my dogs really like these, so I'll be able to give them some too. And then I have some gravy. So I'm gonna put this all together, warm it up, and I'll be back to show you lunch. All right, so here's my lunch. So I did three quarters of a cup of the prepared potatoes. I did four ounces of the shredded chicken. I don't know, six carrots. And then I did half of a cup of the gravy, which is actually two servings. I wanted a little bit more gravy. Normally I would have used corn or green beans, but we're going with carrots. I just wanted to get a vegetable in there, topped it with some pepper, so this is lunch. I just headed out to run my errands and I thought I'd give you a car update since we're in the car. So yesterday I called BMW and now all of the calls when you call the dealership are routed to a call center. So you don't actually even get to talk to anybody at the dealership. It's a bit annoying because I actually want to talk to someone at the dealership that I'll be talking to when I bring my car in. That's not an option. So I was on hold and it said you had three people in front of you. And then it kept asking me if I wanted to leave a callback number and somebody would call me back rather than waiting in queue. So I was like, well, yeah, I'd much rather have somebody call me back than have to sit and wait in the queue. So I leave my phone number. I record a short message because it asked, you know, record a short message. Let us know what you're calling for. So I kind of explained about the brake pad sensor um, and that I don't need brakes. I need to know what my options are. Nobody called me back. Nobody, nobody called me. And then I was thinking I would call this morning and then I just didn't get around to it. So my brake pad warning is still on. I still don't need brake pads. I'm gonna have to, I guess, 
try calling BMW back and just sit on hold this time. My original plan was since I'm gonna be going into Tucson right now to go to Lululemon that I would go to BMW, but now that that's not gonna happen. So I don't have much more of an update other than nobody called me back. So I am currently heading to Lululemon. Like I said, it's my boot camp instructor's birthday. Well, actually her birthday was this last Saturday, but her party that we're having is this coming up Saturday. It's a luau theme. So I get to wear my little dress that I bought in Hawaii. So I'm really excited for that. And we all pitched in money. And after we bought her the blanket with our faces on it that I talked about in a previous video, we had just under $350 left over. So I'm gonna pitch in the rest to get us to $350 and I'm going to go get her a big, huge, ginormous Lululemon gift card so that she can go get some new active wear. So I've never been to where this Lululemon is. I actually asked my nail lady about it and she said that it's in this kind of high-end area, high-end mall in Tucson. So I don't know what other stores are around there. I would like to potentially go to Sephora, but the only Sephora that I've ever been to is like a million miles away and I just, I, I can't be bothered. And then I was also thinking possibly stopping in at Whole Foods. So those are really the things that I want to do. And then if there's any good shopping near the Lululemon store, and like I said, since I've never been there, I don't really know what's around there, then we'll stop there. So I have my water. This is just regular water with some lemon slices and some cucumber in it. I have a meat stick in my purse if I get hungry or I'll pick up a snack when I'm out. I don't anticipate being gone too long. So first stop, Lululemon. Oh my goodness. This is so far it took me 45 minutes to get here and this is definitely 100 percent a bougie shopping area they even have valet parking oh no oh my god i'm literally gonna cry like no lie literally gonna cry you guys oh. why is this my life we're renovating. Oh wait, to visit our temporary location, turn right and head towards Anthropology and Lucky Brand. I was literally gonna cry. I thought that they were closed and I just drove all this way for nothing, but apparently they have a temporary location. So fingers crossed. Okay, I see it right between Lucky and Loft. This is definitely, definitely bougie is a tiny, tiny, tiny store. They don't have a whole lot. I was thinking about a bra, but I don't know. Their prices, I forget how expensive they are. We appreciate the misters here in Arizona. I've actually never been in an anthropology. So I'm gonna go in, since it's right next door to Lululemon, I've purchased online, but never been in an actual store. Anthropology. Oh my God, it's so expensive. $250 for jeans, no way. And then I saw this t-shirt. I don't even know what brand it was, but it said like the Beach Boys on it, $75. Wow, okay. Definitely not in my price range. I love Kendra Scott jewelry. I have a whole bunch of it at home. Really, really nice. I've actually never been in a, into an Athleta. So I feel like I should go in there. I feel like it's like Lululemon prices. In London, drunk at night, in the Olympic and fights, I think we have done it all. She knows me in and out, love of a different kind. We still have no control 
All right, so I am back in the car, Lululemon. I only bought one thing. Man, that store was tiny. I know that it's a temporary store, but usually, honestly, I shop the clearance section at Lululemon a lot. But what I did pick up is a water bottle. So you guys know that I have the rose gold one. I show it a lot on in my videos. Well, I dropped it and the whatever it is that keeps the water cold and insulated is broken. So it shakes around and it does not keep my water cold anymore. So they had the bright pink. So I picked that up and then I did, of course, get the $350 gift card for Julia. And then in Athleta, you saw that I went over to the sales section. By the way, this bag, adorable. So in the sales section, I found this top. I think this is so cute. I literally love the color of it. I loved the rib, the cute little v-neck. It's a crop, but it's a long line crop, so it should go right about to my waist. Normally $44, and I got it for $24.99. It is such a thick material. And then I got a sports bra because I actually went through all of my bras, all of my sports bras, got rid of them after I had my surgery. Most of them didn't fit. Most of my bras don't fit right. That is on my list when I'm about six months post-op to go get a bra fitting and actually buy a bra that fits me correctly. I'm just using what I have for right now. But how cute is this little strappy bra? This is a medium support sports bra. It was $49, which I think is a pretty good deal. So buttery soft. It does have removable cups. I love the whole strappy design. I got it in a large. The girl that helped me there she thought that a large would fit around for sure but would give me the coverage over my chest that I needed and medium support is good for me especially for hiking days and more lower impact days she said that all the straps give it more support so I'm gonna wear it to boot camp we'll try it we'll see if it works but $75 at Athleta and then the water bottle I want to say was like $44 there's a Tiffany's here uh there's a Madewell I've never been in Madewell but Holy moly, this is definitely a little bit more on the high end expensive side. Definitely need some water. I'm going to see what's around here. I've never been this far into Tucson. I mean, I'm far, far into Tucson. So I'm gonna see what's around here uh, that I may wanna stop at. Okay, I'm at Whole Foods. You guys, this is the biggest Whole Foods I've literally ever seen in my life. It goes all the way around the other side. It takes up literally a block. Wow. Could have spent hours in Whole Foods. That was literally the coolest, biggest Whole Foods I've ever been to. I've been to another one here in Arizona, nowhere near the size of that one. So I did grab just a few things. So first, some olives. I was actually looking for sliced olives. Uh, spoiler alert, we're having two ingredient dough pizza for dinner and Troy's gonna do like a pepperoni sausage situation. So he wanted olives, I'll just have to slice them up. I love the 365 brand of the roasted red pepper hummus so good it's actually one of my favorite hummus and then i saw these and they intrigued me these are from the brand soli i love soli it is a dried fruit that has no added sugar and this is actually organic mango drizzled with 100 percent cacao so the mango has chocolate on it. it's only 80 calories and it's organic mango and organic cacao so honestly i probably wouldn't even count points for this and then I got some yellow peaches. I also like that all of Whole Foods produce is organic automatically, where like sprouts, some of it's organic, some of it's not. Bag number two. So they had the Roar Water, but flavors that my Sprouts doesn't have. So I grabbed the two flavors I've never tried. I love Roar Water. This is Blueberry Acai. And then they had Georgia Peach. Mm, that sounds so good. And then they also had a Super Coffee that I've never tried. And it's the Sweet Cream Super Coffee. I actually shared this in my recent protein video, if you missed it, talking about like protein supplements. I really like Super Coffee. And then I got some little chopped up Baby Bella mushrooms for our pizzas tonight. 
I was excited to see pumpkin anything. You guys know I love my pumpkin. This is the Purely Elizabeth Pumpkin Cinnamon Granola. I put granola on my yogurt bowl. I pretty much eat a yogurt bowl every day and it's pumpkin, so I couldn't pass it up. I did grab some bonza, 20 grams of protein. I didn't realize bonza had so much protein. Uh, spaghetti made with chickpeas. Troy doesn't know the difference when I use this, so I bought that. My favorite Snack Factory Pretzel Crisp Minis. These are way cheaper at Whole Foods. Who'd have known? I think they're like $7.99 at my fry and they were $5.99 here. And last but not least, I got some honey, cinnamon, whole grain animal cookies just for like that animal cracker vibe. I like that as a sweet treat every once in a while. Plus it's really good crushed up on yogurt, Ninja Creamy protein pudding. So I grabbed those. I did use my Amazon Prime Whole Foods discount. So everything was about $43, which is not bad considering it's Whole Foods. So now I'm going home. It is three o'clock. I'm going to eat my Vermont uncured pepperoni meat stick on the way home. And then I think I'm going to have half of a serving of those little cinnamon animal cracker things for a little carby with my pepperoni. I always like to pair macros together. So the pepperoni stick is pure protein. So I either need a fat or a carb. So I'm going to opt for a carb and have a half a serving of those cookies. So I'll see you at home and we will get started on dinner. So for dinner tonight, I am making barbecue chicken pizza for me and I'm going to do a pepperoni pizza for Troy. I'll show you guys his as well. And we're doing two ingredient dough. It has been years since I've made two ingredient dough. So let me show you what you'll need for the pizza. First you'll need self-rising flour or you can use regular flour, just add your leveling agents to it. I'm going to use the Lakanto no sugar added barbecue sauce. So it's actually really, really, really good. I do have a 15% off discount for Lakanto. I'll link it down below for you. Non-fat plain Greek yogurt, the mushrooms that I picked up at Whole Foods, shredded breast, shredded white breast chicken, a red onion, a green bell pepper, some fresh cilantro, and light shredded mozzarella. So for the pizza dough, I'm using, again, the self-rising flour. I'm going to do two full cups. I'm going to make pretty good sized pizzas. That way we have some leftovers. And then I never measure out my Greek yogurt. I just add it until it's the right consistency of dough. Normally it's a one-to-one, -one, so we would do two cups of Greek yogurt, but I'm just going to add in little by little, stir it in with the dough, and then again, once I get that right consistency, I'll stop adding in the yogurt. So I have my big ball of dough. I pulled out two quarter sheet pans. I don't have a round pizza pan, so we're gonna do a square or a rectangle pizza. So I'm going to divide out the dough. I definitely need less dough than Troy's pizza does. So I'm going to give him the majority of the dough. This one is my pizza. So I'm just gonna roll this out. I like a, a quite a thin crust. So I'm gonna roll this out as thin as possible. So I'm going to add a little garlic powder to my crust. I always like to do that to give it kind of that authentic pizza crust taste. I'm going to give it just a quick spray with some nonstick cooking spray, putting this into a 500 degree oven for just a few minutes until it gets a little bit crispy before I add on the toppings. All right, I just pulled my pizza crust out. I'm going to add some barbecue sauce. I'm going to start with about four to five tablespoons, spread that over my pizza. I really like the Lakanto barbecue. It's very mesquite, very barbecue and not overly sweet. It's the perfect barbecue sauce. And then I'm going to add on some shredded chicken. I'm shooting for about a cup. I decided to add some pineapple to mine as well. I love pineapple on pizza. Some green bell pepper red onion, which is one of my favorite things on pizza, and some mushrooms. I'm adding one cup of mozzarella cheese. And then I have some reduced fat sharp cheddar. I'm going to do about a quarter of a cup, just sprinkled right on top. I'm going to go ahead and pop my pizza in the oven. When it comes out, we'll top it with some fresh cilantro. So here's Troy's pizza out of the oven. She thick. He's definitely gonna have to eat it with a fork. It looks really good. And then here is the barbecue chicken pizza. So I am not going to eat all of this. It definitely makes more than one serving. I'm going to cut it into six pieces. 
plate it up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So I went ahead and cut off two slices for my dinner. It looks really good. I still have all of this for leftover. I will go ahead and put all the information here on the screen for you. He gets himself really out of breath, don't you bud? So my clean, simple eats order just showed up. I was gonna show you guys what I got. I think I'm getting a couple more packages today, but it's already four, almost 5 p.m. and this one just showed up. So I ordered the protein variety pack. I love this because you get a bunch of different flavors of their protein powder in one. So it's a great way to test it out, kind of find your favorite before you buy a full size bag. This is a really, really good deal as well for 10 different proteins. And then I did buy another one of the founder's favorites. This is what actually turned me on to Clean Simple Eats in the first place. This is a box of their favorite products. So there's protein powder, there's hydrate, there's greens, there's collagen, there's the energy mix. Pretty much a selection of everything that Clean Simple Eats has. So these two are really good starter packs if you're new to the brand. I really like the Energy Sweet Kiwi. This one's really good, it's actually my favorite. So I bought a full box. These are little energy packets that you can put into your water. It says performance, energy, and endurance. So I like to drink this pre and post workout or even just in the afternoon if I need a little pick me up. I also bought their variety pack of their nut butters. I wanted something small that I can take with me, especially with all the travel that I have coming up. And again, this is just a really good way, again, to try out their products because you get two of all of their nut butter flavors. And I do actually really, really enjoy their nut butter. And then I bought the variety pack of the Hydrate. I love the Hydrate. It helps recoup electrolytes. Really beneficial after a workout or if you're outside all day. This is the variety pack. It has BCAAs, electrolytes, and recovery. So there's cherry, watermelon, tropical, the kiwi, which is the one that I really like in the energy drink, and then the coconut. All really, really good and individual packets. This is all stuff I wanna take when I travel. And I didn't know that they sold powdered peanut butter. So that was exciting to see on the website. I had to pick it up. 40 calories for one tablespoon. So I think pretty similar to PB2, but this one's actually organic, which we want our peanuts to be organic. So I was excited to see that. Lola's well, scared of the bubble wrap. She doesn't like popping noises, so she just ran off. And then I'm excited for this. This is the Clean Simple Eats Treats Cookbook. So I have one of their other cookbooks and it's really, really good. If you buy a lot of Clean Simple Eats products and you need ideas, their cookbooks are amazing. They're really nice quality, spiral bound, hard back, hard front cover. Good things come to those who bake. And this is full of sweet treats using Clean Simple Eats. And you know that I always like to incorporate protein as much as possible. I plan on picking up all their cookbooks, but I can't wait to dig into this one. You'll definitely see me share some of these recipes. So that is everything from Clean Simple Eats. I do have a discount code. I'll link it down below for you. So my dessert tonight is going to be my second protein supplement of the day. And that is an Alani protein bar. This is the peanut butter and jelly obsession. I love these. I share these in my favorites and I talked about these in my protein video. If you missed that protein video, I'll link it down below for you. 15 grams of protein, absolutely delicious. So that is dessert. the night and I wanted to hop on and thank you so much for watching today's What I Eat in a Day on WW Counting Calories, watching my protein and my macros. It was a great day. I had a lot of fun running my errands. All the food that I ate today was so good. The barbecue chicken pizza, absolutely incredible. It will definitely be a go-to pizza for us. Don't forget to get your hands on Mud Water, you guys. Complete game changer. Absolutely delicious. And of course, everything I shared with you today will be linked down below, as well as links and discounts to all of my other favorite things and my Facebook group. We definitely love to come have you join us. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and of course, have an amazing, amazing Wednesday, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!